Howdy y'all, Robert from Texas here. Did you guys know that chronic stress has been shown to have an effect on our learning, our memory, our emotions, and that even our attention and focus are also affected just by stress alone? And that in the long term, chronic stress has also been linked to Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Because the more stressed out you are, the greater at risk it is for your brain health. And if you're looking for ways to improve your creativity, your productivity, your memory, basically just to improve your overall brain function, you're going to have to find some ways to relieve some of that stress, to give your brain a rest, so to speak. So here's a list of quick tips that can kind of help you relieve some of that stress from your day-to-day -day life. Just some quick things that maybe help you out. First thing is to just say no. And I don't mean just literally just say no. Well, I guess, well, I, guess I didn't do me. I do mean literally say no, because the idea is that if you're one of those people that's always doing something for somebody else, and you're always involved in the latest group project, whatever it is going on in your neighborhood or at work, and you're always signing up, you might be just stretching yourself out just too thin, doing too much, and you're doing too much for everybody else, not taking care of yourself. So you have to know your limits, and you have to let the people around you know those, what those limits are. And it's okay to say no, because if you are busy doing everything for everybody else, it's okay to say no. Just let them know that you have reached your limit. Be nice about it, of course, right? But just let them know that you're taking on too much because you don't want that undue stress in your life. So if what's going on is going to be just too much of a hassle or it's just going to be just undue stress, you know, just remember it's okay to say no. Second thing is to take naps. You need to feel alert. And if you're feeling bogged down, stressed out by all the your thoughts and emotions going on throughout the day, then take a quick nap. I've seen companies where they offer these sleeping rooms or these like sleep pods, which are generally or basically just a um, reclining chair with a cover on top. And it creates a nice environment for you to be able to take a nap and they fully expect you to, to take a nap. Now I know that not every place has a room dedicated to sleep or has these sleep pods available to their employees. But the idea is, is that you do want to be able to take a 10 minute nap to help your brain just take a break from what's going on in your daily life. Can you take a break during the lunch period, just 10 minutes, just take a nap? Or how about when you get home, set your timer for 15 minutes and fully intend to go to sleep for 10 minutes. I say set the timer for 15 minutes because you want to take into account the time it takes for you to actually fall asleep. And you need that mental break just to kind of take you away from what's going on in your life. And don't do it for longer than 10 minutes because it just might affect your regular nighttime or evening routine and you don't need all that extra <laughs> stress too. But you do want time out of your regular day just to kind of just shut your brain off for a little bit. Third thing is to daydream. Daydreaming is kind of like a taking a nap but while you're awake. See, you are using your imagination, but you're taking yourself away from this present situation that you're in right now. Try to think about your favorite vacation spot and really try to feel what it was like to be there and really enjoy the moments that you had back then. And when you're daydreaming, you're kind of using your imagination. So go with that. Try to think of yourself in a different situation completely. For instance, if you're sitting at your desk or wherever you're at, just picture yourself as a one inch person walking around your desk, checking out the big stapler, trying to use the paper clip as a javelin or something, or playing with a scotch tape and getting stuck in it. Or take it the other route and pretend yourself as a giant walking around your neighborhood or walking around your whole work complex, trying to look for a place to sit or a park to lay down on, which is the best place to sit down, which is the best place to lay down. Just, again, you're using your imagination and you're taking yourself away from the present situation just to give your brain a break, to see things differently, completely different, just to forget about all the stressors from that day-to-day -day life. But you have to use your imagination. You can also take some time and talk to your favorite literary character. Take your favorite character from a book you read, or a comic book, or anything like that, and have a conversation with them. Talk to Batman for a little bit. <laughs> talk about how his day went. How did he do that, what he did, and what was so cool, what this happened. Something like that, though. You may want to be able to just uh, talk in your head, so that way your coworkers and people around you won't really think that you actually had a really mental breakdown or anything like that. Just keep it in your head, but have that conversation. Just use your imagination just to take you away from the present situation and talk to somebody else, some fictional character you really look up to. And you're doing all this just to basically take your mind off things for just a little while. Next thing is to smile. It's true, just by smiling alone, just by putting on even a fake smile actually helps to relieve stress. Just put on that smile and hold it. And it helps if you guys have a pencil and hold that pencil with your teeth. Not with your lips. If you actually, if you hold the pencil with your lips, it actually has a negative effect. It's almost like if you're frowning. 
So hold that pencil in your teeth and hold it for a little while and that's going to actually help you to improve your mood and help you to relieve stress just by smiling. Maybe there's someone around your workplace that you know always has a funny joke to tell or that they know or you know that they can always make you smile. So go visit them for a little while. Or you can also check out the computer and look for funny videos or funny memes, anything that's going to help you smile and just by that fact that you're smiling, it's going to help you to forget about what that's going on in your situation right at that moment. Again, it's just to take a break, a mental break from your present situation. Next, check your posture. Take some time to correct your posture. If you're really stressed out and you're not paying attention to what your body's doing, you might be sitting down in a really bad position. You might be holding it for a long time. Even if you're standing, you might be having really bad posture. So take some time out, correct that posture because over time, having this bad posture can lead to like neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain. If you're slumped over like this, your oxygen and blood flow are being reduced in your brain. So correct that posture, sit up straight. Be aware of it. Take some time out through your day. Be aware of how you're standing and how you're sitting. Sit up straight. This is gonna improve your oxygen levels, improve your circulation, help to lessen also that muscle tension. And all of this just really helps you to relieve stress. Guys, there you go. Just some quick tips that throughout your day you wanna be aware of to help you to relieve that day-to-day -day stress because you really wanna be able to have that brain function that's necessary for you to be able to be, for you to be able to be creative and to be able to be more productive in life because if you're constantly thinking and worrying about something it's going to affect what you're trying to do and overall in the long term affect your brain function so again you guys take those mental breaks throughout your day take those naps talk to some literary character check your posture smile try to laugh and if you can take a nap here and there and do it throughout your day you guys and maybe not all these things at the same time. Try some of these things throughout your day. Try them differently every week. But the thing is to be consistent with it and do them throughout your day. There you go, guys. I hope you all having a good day, and I mean that. Please remember to comment, like, or subscribe, and we'll talk later. Bye for now.